What's going on guys? Thanks for watching. Keep calm and game on. In this episode, we're playing some more Beyond Extinct. And we're just hopping in to a new run. This is a brand new game that came out into early access uh, about a week ago, I want to say. The developers, they sent me a kit of the game, so that was really nice of them. So yeah, I'm just going to give my initial impressions. I have made another video about this, but uh, I wanted to keep on playing because the first time I played was pretty cool. And I want to play more so I can kind of get the hang of it. Um, but yeah, first person shooter. There's like levels of the... Of the I guess complex you have to get to and once you get to like level 10 you you make it out something like that um but yeah we're gonna do it and uh, this is actually my first time playing on this pc so we might have to just kind of do the tutorial over again so not a big deal because i don't think i had the the tutorial mission in my last video i kind of just kind of skipped through that so we're going to do the tutorial mission in this video to kind of give you an idea of, of how the game starts and it was actually a pretty cool tutorial um very very simple to understand and yeah so Fire we're just gonna hop in discharge completed subject condition stable all right let's do it let's do it ladies and gents Um, full disclaimer, I am playing this game right now on a toaster computer. Okay, this computer is not a very good one. I'm actually in my garage. So if the game stutters and shakes, chances are it's not the actual game. It's just my computer being stupid. So, um, I believe we go through here. Actually, first, I think we need to pick our character. So, let's select our character. You can unlock these as time goes on, I believe. But the only one I can select right now is the top one. So, we're going to select him. You can now proceed to and we start off with a little pistol. And I believe you can lock unlock guns over time as well. Um, so let's go through here, and let's just follow the, the tutorial. Does not seem to be receiving any power. Backup generators must be activated by hand. Go through the door with the green okay. light. Okay. Backup generators. So we got to turn those puppies on. So let's go through here. This area seems to be leaking a potentially harmful gas. Harmful gas, it's not good. Sprint through here. Use the console to open the door, then sprint across the room. Okay, so this, in this little section, it's showing me how to sprint. So let's just run, 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 run. Across the poison. Boom. Mission complete. But it appears that a small portion of your respiratory system has been damaged. Pick up the med kit. And med kit, to all right. your physical health. Let me pick that up, and then you use the med kit with the X button. Very simple. Very simple. Okay. Let's keep moving. The support beam has collapsed and exposed cables with high voltage. So we don't want to touch that. Be impossible to crawl through. Don't want to touch that. Under the debris. First, start sprinting from the back. And okay, here we go. Here we go. Crouch to begin sliding. Oh. Okay, wait. So while sprinting, press C to slide on the door. Okay, sprinting. Oh, wrong button. Sprinting and see. Boom. Sweet. And then it also kind of shows you a little video of how it's supposed to look, which I really appreciate because sometimes the games just tell you stuff and they don't really, it doesn't really make sense. I love when games actually show you how it's supposed to look. Okay, so we got it. We got it. Okay. Generators are right across the room. So, I believe we have to go. Oh, right here. Okay. So let's hit that lever. Backup generators are on. And I think we might have to kind of slide through. Oh, I got a flashlight. Yeah, where's my flashlight? There we go. Nice. Okay, let me just let me just crouch underneath. Very, very nice. Very nice. Crouch under here. Okay. These wooden pieces seem to be rotten. Okay, how do I knock Please these puppies out? Knife to clear your path. Oh, I got a combat knife. I forgot about that. Okay, so the V just slices stuff. Very nice. Very, very nice. Boom. That's how we do it, baby. Okay. Pistol. Boom. That's gone. And again, guys, this game is an early access, so as time goes on, it's just going to become more and more polished. And, uh more rich with features and whatnot so just keep that in mind seem to be malfunctioning please pick up the rifle aim through the jammed door rifle rifle where's the place. rifle and there seems to be like little puzzle elements too at least in this tutorial 
I haven't got super far into the actual game. Um, but for example, I have to kind of shoot these. An electrical shock can jumpstart the power distributors. Search through the lockers to see if you can find a useful perk Okay, item. so let's search these lockers. The perk item you have just found will make your bullets carry electricity. Nice. The power distributors so there's, there's actually perks into the game. You can kind of upgrade your character. Um, so that's really cool. So let's shoot my kind of electrified bullets. And that will give those power and allow me to finally walk through the door. Very nice. Well, there we go. Okay, sweet. The door ahead is heavily reinforced. Bullets will not work against it. Okay, so let me try Press to sprint. To see if you can find any explosives. I think I can sprint and then kind of... Yeah. Now, I can kind of... Just... Just... Just slide through stuff. Got a bunch of grenades. And... Boom. Grenades. Feel nice. Very nice. Okay, so let's keep moving. Your careless actions of shooting and blowing things up resulted in partially activating the defense. I really like the voice acting too. Pick up the utility item on the table. Okay. It will make you invisible for a short period of time. So we got this utility item. Then proceed through the next room quietly. And we just got to pick it up. And this is going to give us uh, invisibility. I'm going to equip it to the Q button. And that will help us get through this door i believe maybe there we go yeah so it's gonna make me invisible for a short amount of time and as long as i don't shoot and give away my position i think we'll be a-okay there we go Congratulations. very nice very very nice in this room you will fight with holographic enemies with some of our most advanced technological weapons some utility items and perk items Go through to the next room and claim your equipment. Okay, let's grab some equipment, boys. All right? Come on, let me throw it. Let me throw it. There we go. Take these weapons. Okay, so... Oh, these weapons. Sweet. And take some of these perk items and utility items to be ready for the simulation. Okay, let's take a couple of these. Equip that. And equip that. Um, this is kind of our, you can reach your staff on every run from the pause menu. Very nice. And that kind of gives you a rundown of your loadout, your perks that you have equipped, so on and so forth. And it actually tells you what the perks do, which is very nice. I like that. Okay, so. Uh, we already got both perks available. You can now proceed to the next area. So let's go. Open the door there, buddy boy. Okay. Next area. I also like the way the, the game, just the way it looks. Okay, so monsters left. I got 50 monsters I got to kill. And these are just holograms at the moment because, again, this is just a little tutorial mission showing me how the game works. And that stuttering you're seeing, that that's not the game. That's my computer because I am streaming. I mean, I'm recording and playing on the same computer, and it's, it's not a great computer that I'm, I'm doing this on. So just keep that in mind. Boom, 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 and grenade. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh snap, there we go. Grenade launcher, baby. Very nice. Decent looking explosions as well. Oh boy, oh boy. And I, I think when I slide, I'm like uh, invulnerable for like uh, a couple seconds. So I can like kind of slide through here. You won't be able to hit me. Boom, boom, baby. Reload, 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 reload. There we go, there we go. Oh, man, that is a lot. Let's jump back over to my missile launcher. You Actually, it's a grenade well. launcher. Please proceed to the next area. Proceed to the next area. Okay, where is the next area? I think it... Uh, let me see here. Hmm. Oh, and then it kind of puts a little... A little waypoint on your map so you can see where the next area is instead of having to like go around through this like maze like structure it just kind of tells you which is nice I don't know if I don't know if you can like disable that or not but I do like that feature because it kind of saves time and helps keep the game moving forward run, you will reach these weapons utility items perk items and other technological devices 
For your information, perk items are passive and stacked up for your current run. But utility items can be used actively in combat. Very nice. The amount you have. So you got perks, which are like always active because they're passive, and then you have utility items, which you know you can only use if you have the the, the, the correct amount of them. So it's like a one-time use thing for the utility items. So that's cool. And then you have like your home base here. Well, I don't know if this is actually my home base. I, th I think this is my home base. And then, uh, yeah, so this is kind of your home base, I believe. Or maybe not. I think I'm still kind of in the, the tutorial. But uh, where do I need to go here? Where do I need to go? I need to go through a door. Which door is it? I think it's this door. Yeah. And then it kind of, th and then it, it th basically throws you into the the actual game after this little tutorial. Yeah, there we go. So if I want to go into the next level, I just Good climb job. up the ladder, and then boom, throws you into the game. So pretty pretty simple tutorial mission. Doesn't take forever. Um, explains things very well and kind of uh, shows you these video clips during the the loading screens as well, which I really like. Makes use of the loading screens. So let's hit the fire button, and we'll just play a little, a uh, brief, uh, brief gameplay here. We'll, we'll play a little bit, see how long we can last. And um, okay, so the quest right now is eliminate all your enemies and then find the exit. Side quest: get 15 grenade kills. Oh, nice. So I didn't, I didn't realize there were like side quests, where if you like do a, a certain extra thing, you'll get like extra bonus points. Okay, so let me take out this. And this game is, it's, uh, it's not that easy. It is, it is not that easy. And, um, so let's see, one of four waves. This is only the first wave. Oh, boy. These guys are not holograms, obviously. Um, you can also, there's also destructible environments, which is cool. And you can pick up things. Um, not everything is pick up, like, you can't pick up everything, but there's certain items you can pick up, like, uh, air canisters and whatnot, and you've got to throw them at the enemies and then and then use those to um, blow them up. So let me just take this guy out. And they drop perks and whatnot. You want to make sure you pick those up, because you can use that um, to upgrade your character. So for example, I think I can pick up this. Yeah, I can push it. Or I can kind of hold it. And then I can kind of carry it, and then drop it, and then... I'm gonna, try, I'm gonna try to blow it up. Actually, I'm gonna run past here. Slide, slide, slide. Come on, there we go, there we go, there we go. See what I'm doing here? See, see that? See that magic? That's what I'm talking about. Ooh, what is this, what is this, what is this? Prototype cloaking. Oh, cool, so I can equip that. I'm gonna, okay, sweet. I'm gonna cloak myself real quick. So I'm cloaked for a split second. But as soon as I start firing, it kind of uh, gives my position away. Okay, so. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Wait for it, boom. And I only have my pistol at the moment because you, you upgrade your character over time. So I, I can buy um, better weapons and upgrade my current weapons uh, in my like little main my main home base. Let's see. We're almost on the fourth wave. And things are gonna start spicing up here. Okay. Oh buddy. Oh buddy. I'm not sure how many different types of enemies there are because again I haven't really played that much. But if you want to see more of this game on the channel, definitely let me know in the comment section and give the video a thumbs up because it does help me out. And, you know, any feedback is good feedback, so I, I do appreciate it. Oh, buddy, we, we're, we're, getting, we're getting overwhelmed here. I do got grenades, sweet. Okay, 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 boom. Um, there we go. What does this one do? Oh, sweet, it puts down, like, poison gas thing. That perk did. And for being an early access title and having just launched, this game still feels like really polished. Like I'm, I'm really impressed. Because I, I played a lot of first, like I played a lot of first-person shooter early access titles, and sometimes right out of the gate, they're, they're they need a lot of work. And this is like very playable, very fun. The controls feel nice. The tutorial mission was great, and uh, you know I'm, I'm impressed. And it's just gonna keep getting better over time. With, you know, feedback from the community, and they're going to fix bugs and glitches. Um, and, you know, add content as time goes on. So, I am, like, I am stoked to see where this game ends up as it kind of ends its development cycle. Because right now, it's it's pretty fun just as it stands. So, let's... Oh, I got medpack. There we go. 
You gotta remember to heal, guys, because it doesn't do it automatically. Like, you'll get med packs in your inventory, but you have to, like, use the med packs with the X button. Or, uh, you know, it, it just doesn't do it automatically. So, you gotta remember to do that. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. And you can only use a med pack, obviously, if you have it. I'm gonna... I'm gonna oh, I'm out, of, I'm out of meds. I'm out of meds, boys. I'm out of meds. Oh, God. We got a little turret in here, too. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, take it out. Take it out. Take it out. There we go. Boom. And I am going to die. Emergency shield active. Okay. Come on. A little emergency shield on. Come on. Come on. Oh, yeah, baby. We leveled up. I think this is the last guy. No, I got a couple more. A couple more. A couple more. Okay. And you can turn down the blood if you want to, but man, it just looks better with it on. Oh, hello. There's a little traps you can run into. Like, those will, like, kind of stick you in place for a couple seconds. Little booby traps. I'm running low on health, guys. And I really like the music as well. Like, I don't, I don't know if they, like, created the soundtrack themselves or just, like, bought pre-made tracks. But it, it sounds really good. Nice guitar riffs and everything. Keeps the game feeling very fast-paced and intense. Doesn't really feel repetitive either, which is nice. Come on, come on, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. And I also like the the way the demons and, and like creatures look. And I think we completed it. Okay, yeah. So now we have to find the exit, and that will probably pop up on our our display here in a second. Oh wait, whoa, 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 oh, maybe not. Okay, we got a couple more guys. Just don't die, don't die, don't die, because I got like one hit point left. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. There we go. Oh, God. Is that the last one? Nope. So we need to... Oh. Dang it, I died. So maybe I had to find the exit. I don't know if the, the enemies keep spawning or, or what. I still haven't quite figured that out. I'm sure it probably said I just missed it. Um, but then it kind of, kind of gives you a rundown of, like, your accuracy, how many shots you fired, headshots, so on and so forth. So that's really cool. I really like that. And then I unlocked a perk as well. So I can, I guess, uh, on my, uh, my, like, the more runs I do, it will unlock things. Then I'll have, like, a chance of those perks and abilities popping up within those runs. So that kind of keeps the game fresh. So I like that. And then it tells you, like, a rundown what it does. So this one gained 40 temporary armor on top of your health. Cool down 50 seconds. Nice. Nice. And then you can try again, or you can go back to the base. I want to go back to the base real quick. And then you use the base to obviously upgrade your character and, like, uh, your perks and whatnot. You can buy new guns. So it's like uh, you play, you know, you collect your, your currency and, and, and your, your, you know, the stuff you need to upgrade. And then you go to your home base, and then you can spend those points to upgrade. And then each one of these doors, I think these doors, like, lead to uh, different areas where you can actually upgrade your stuff. Pretty sure. Let me see if I can figure out which way to go. Oh, yeah, then I can go over here. Select my character. Select. And I think I can go through... I think it's this door. Yeah, there it is. It's through here. And then there's, like, different uh, spots you can go to within this to upgrade your stuff. I think some of them are kind of locked off at the moment. But yeah, guys, there you go. That is Beyond Extinct. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of this game on the channel, be sure to let me know in the comment section. And let me know what you thought of it by, you know, posting some comments. I think this game is currently around 16 bucks on Steam. The price might go up. I mean, I'm assuming it's probably going to go up over time as, as it progresses. Because once it gets, like, toward the end of the development cycle, a lot of developers, they kind of up the price. But again, I don't know. So, um, if you want to get it on the cheaper side before it's completely finished, you know, check it out. I'll try to put a link in the description. And, yeah, I will catch you in the next video. Until then, my name is Adam, guys. Thanks for watching. And remember, keep common game on. Toodles!